Dear students, welcome to Digital Learning. In auditing, there is sixth semester course of sixth semester, uh, sixth semester BBA course of Mangalore University, and we are in the fourth unit and session three. And in session three, we will be studying about the classification of liabilities this session we will discuss about the classification of liabilities see in the last two sessions we have discussed about the classification of assets and we have understood that there are six types of assets and that classification was basically for the purpose of calculation of uh, for the purpose of uh, uh, auditing or for the purpose of valuation and verification of the assets and in the similar way we can also divide the liabilities also into different categories for the purpose of valuation and or verification of the liabilities let us see the classification of the liabilities in this third session okay we can classify the liabilities into three types they are fixed liabilities or long term liabilities current liabilities or short term liabilities contingent liability first one is fixed or long term liability see by the name itself we can understand this is having a liability for long period of time its liability last for long period of time it will not be completed within a short period of time that is why we can say they are expected to be discharged within not expected to be with discharge within a year they are not expected to be discharged within a year one year dalle adanna discharge maadi payment maadi mugisuvagilla Agi agu dilla. It will take a long period of time, maybe ten years, twenty years. Also, sometimes take. It will take. Is it? If the loans are taken from the industrial, financial institutions or banks, commercial banks, and the pay repayment will take a long period of time. And they are to be paid after one or more years. Or the one two years, kala dhanantra, that way, no hichu years dhanantra, that na payment martha ayir dek. One two years dalli, for example, if you buy. Um, if you buy, if you want to ex make the expansion of your company, you may be taking the debentures, alwa. You may be issuing the debentures to the public, and debentures will be repaid after a long period of time. It won't be paid within one year. It will take anyhow more than one year, and not two years also. It will take a long period of time. Such type of expenses, which are paid after one or more years. are called long term liabilities based on written agreement uh, specifying the borrower's obligations uh, such as due date of the interest principal payment type of the securities the fixed liability is based on a written agreement idakke ond written agreement irutte and that written agreement specifies the obligations of the borrower saala thagondavana ella hakku baadhyategalannu avana ಕರ್ತವ್ಯಗಳನ್ನು ಒಬ್ಲಿಗೇಶನ್ಸ್ ಅನ್ನು ಹೊಣೆಗಾರಿಕೆಗಳನ್ನು ಅಲ್ಲಿ ಏನ್ ಮಾಡಿರ್ತಾರೆ ನಮೂದಿಸಿರ್ತಾರೆ ದೇ ವಿಲ್ ರೆಕಾರ್ಡ್ ಇಟ್ ಇಟ್ ವಿಲ್ ಬಿ ಸ್ಪೆಸಿಫೈಡ್ ದೇರ್ ಲೈಕ್ ಡ್ಯೂ ಡೇಟ್ ಆಫ್ ಇಂಟ್ರೆಸ್ಟ್ ವೆನ್ ದೇ ಹ್ಯಾವ್ ಟು ಪೇ ದ ಇಂಟ್ರೆಸ್ಟ್ ವೆನ್ ದೇ ಹ್ಯಾವ್ ಟು ಪೇ ದ ಪ್ರಿನ್ಸಿಪಾಲ್ ಅಮೌಂಟ್ ವಾಟ್ ಇಸ್ ದ ಡ್ಯೂ ಡೇಟ್ ಇಸ್ ಇಟ್ ಫಸ್ಟ್ ಆಫ್ ದ ಎವ್ರಿ ಮಂತ್ ಆರ್ ಅದರ್ ಡೇಟ್ಸ್ ಟೈಪ್ ಆಫ್ ಸೆಕ್ಯೂರಿಟಿ ವಾಟ್ ಇಸ್ ದ ಸೆಕ್ಯೂರಿಟಿ ಯು ಹ್ಯಾವ್ ಗಿವನ್ ಫಾರ್ ದ ಲೋನ್ ಆ್ಯಂಡ್ ವಾಟ್ ಟೈಪ್ ಆಫ್ ಸೆಕ್ಯೂರಿಟಿ ಇಸ್ ಇಟ್ ಇದೆಲ್ಲ ಇನ್ಕ್ಲೂಡ್ ಆಗಿತ್ತು ಇದಕ್ಕೆ ಎಕ್ಸಾಂಪಲ್ ಡಿಬೆಂಚರ್ಸ್ ಇಶ್ಯೂ debentures issued will not be repaid in a year isn't it it will take a long period of time long term loans borrowed means long term loan borrowed from the banks and financial institutions it will not be repaid within one year it will take a long period of time maybe 5 years maybe 10 years may also be turn sometimes 20 years also in between this any number of years it will take and long term deposit accepted public deposit accepted you are issuing the deposit to the public and you are collecting money from the public that is called long term public deposit accepted they are all fixed or long term liabilities 
Second one is current liabilities. This is similar to current assets. See, current assets, we know that current assets are floating assets. Current assets are uh, having a, uh, what we can say, uh, its uh, life is within one year, isn't it? It will like, get exhausted within one year. Its benefit will get exhausted within one year. In the similar way, current liabilities are also, they are also required to be settled within a period of one year. If you are having a uh, creditors in your bank account, it is a debtor in another, sorry, if, you, if your balance sheet has a creditor, if you are preparing a balance sheet and your balance sheet has a creditor, rupees 1 lakh, and the same way, in another person to whom you have to pay his balance sheet, there is a credit, there is a debtor in your creditor, in your book, in your balance sheet is a creditor, in his ba balance sheet it is debtor. So, in your book, there is a creditor, that is why you have to pay a debtor, that is why you have to pay a debtor, that is why you have to pay a debtor, that is why you have to pay a liability, that is why it is all the same. Thing is same, but it is a liability for you and it is an asset for him. So, same rules apply here, current liabilities. It may be creditor or any other type of the asset, I will explain those things. So, they are required to be settled within a period of one year. One year is the settlement, next year is the settlement. Within 12 months, it should be repaid or it should be paid and it should be discharged. So, how the current liabilities are created? The current liability create aggregate are two reasons. One is by use of the current assets. When you use the, when you make use of the current assets, you will get the current liabilities created. For example, you have the goods, stock of the goods. You are selling the goods on credit. You are using the stock of the goods and you are selling it on uh, credit. You will create a current, uh, current, sorry, current. Uh, uh, asset, uh, current liability. There is a current asset is created in that case. But in the same way, this, this is one example how the current asset is created. In the similar way, there is another case. For example, you are buying a stock of materials from somebody and you are using it. Isn't it? You are using it. So now, when you buy the current uh, stock from somebody, you have to pay them. But you did not pay it. You will pay later after one month. You now, a current liability is created. Only current asset, on the current asset to birth the, in the current liability birth the. Birth the all by use of the current assets you can create the current liabilities. Current liabilities will be created by use of the current assets. Then creation of other current liabilities. In the current liability, and create madle ke bekaagi create madwaage. Only in the can act the, on the current liability create act the. Ii ke act For example here. Examples are there, credit, trade creditors, bills payable, trade creditors we know, we buy on credit, we buy from somebody on credit basis, we did not pay, we will pay after one week, after one month. Year and agwaga, atwa month and agwaga, the agi balance is there, the creditors agi baki akwa. Bills payable, you have to pay to somebody, you have bought, bought from somebody, you did not pay the cash, you have paid him, you have issued him a bills payable, you have given acceptance for a bills payable. Short-term deposits accepted. <clears throat> Short-term deposited acts. Short-term deposits accepted. You are accepting short-term deposit payable, repayable within a period of one year. You have bank in our earlier both bank in our short-term deposit or accept Martha. Early other liability agi mark. Our balance sheet is the liability accept. Short-term advances taken. You are taken from the bank or from cooperative society or any other financial institution. Advance is taken and it is paid within a one year. Outstanding and accrued expenses. For example, if the salary is not paid, it has to be paid in the next month, isn't it? Within one year, anyhow to be any way you have to pay. And accrued expenses or outstanding accrued expenses. Installment to payment of long-term obligations. Sometimes you are paying the long-term obligation payment of the uh, for example, you have you have bought a machinery for rupees one crore. And every month you have to pay 1 lakh rupees as the installment. And in that month, that will be that 1 lakh rupees will be a current liability. Total 1 crore is a long term liability. Out of 1 crore, you will split 1 lakh for the temporary purpose as a uh, current liability. Okay. So these are the things. Next one is contingent liability. What is this contingent liability? It is not an actual liability. Really, it is not an liability. It will become a liability in future. 
ಅದು ಲಯಾಬಿಲಿಟಿ ಅಲ್ಲ ಅದು ಕಂಡೀಷನಲ್ ಆಗಿ ಕಂಟಿಂಜೆಂಟ್ ಆಗಿ ಒಂದು ಇನ್ನೊಂದು ಘಟನೆಯ ಮೇಲೆ ಕಂಟಿಂಜೆಂಟ್ ಆಗಿರ್ತದೆ ಅದು ಇನ್ನೊಂದು ಘಟನೆ ನಡೆದ್ರೆ ಈ ಲಯಾಬಿಲಿಟಿ ಉಂಟಾಗುವ ಒಂದು ಸಾಧ್ಯತೆ ಇದೆ ಹಾಗಾಗಿ ಈಗ ಅದು ಲಯಾಬಿಲಿಟಿ ಅಲ್ಲ ಹಾಗಾಗಿ ಅದನ್ನು ಕಂಟಿಂಜೆಂಟ್ ಲಯಾಬಿಲಿಟಿ ಅಂತ ಹೇಳ್ತೇವೆ ಅದಕ್ಕೆ ಕಂಟಿಂಜೆಂಟ್ ಲಯಾಬಿಲಿಟಿ ಅನ್ನೋ ಬ್ಯಾಲೆನ್ಸ್ ಶೀಟ್ ನಲ್ಲಿ ಒಳಗೆ ಬರೆಯುವುದಿಲ್ಲ ಬ್ಯಾಲೆನ್ಸ್ ಶೀಟ್ ನ ಹೊರಗೆ ಫುಟ್ ನೋಟ್ ಆಗಿ ಬರೀತಾರೆ ಯಾಕಂದ್ರೆ ಅದು ಸಾಧ್ಯತೆ ಇದೆ ಒಂದು ಲಯಾಬಿಲಿಟಿ ಆಗಿ ಕ್ರಿಯೇಟ್ ಆಗುವ ಸಾಧ್ಯತೆ ಇದೆ ಅದರ ಬಗ್ಗೆ ಒಂದು ಮುನ್ಸೂಚನೆ ಕೊಟ್ಟ ಹಾಗೆ ಇದು ಲಯಾಬಿಲಿಟಿ ಆಗ್ಲಿಕ್ಕೆ ಬರ್ತಾ ಇದೆ ಅಂತ ಮನೆಯ ಬಾಗಿಲಿನಲ್ಲಿ ಹತ್ತಿರ ನಿಂತು ಒಳಗೆ ಬರ್ಲಿಕ್ಕೆ ಪ್ರವೇಶ ಕೇಳ್ತದ್ರೆ ಅದೇ ರೀತಿ ಇದು ಬ್ಯಾಲೆನ್ಸ್ ಶೀಟ್ ಎಂಬ ಬಾಗಿ ಇದರ ಬ್ಯಾಲೆನ್ಸ್ ಶೀಟ್ ಎಂಬ ಮನೆಯ ಬಾಗಿಲಲ್ಲಿ ನಿಂತು ಒಳಗೆ ಬರ್ಲಿಕ್ಕೆ ಕೇಳ್ತಾ ಇರ್ತದೆ ಯಾವಾಗ ಆ ಘಟನೆ ನಡೆಯುತ್ತೆ ಅದು ಒಳಗೆ ಬರ್ತದೆ ಹಾಗಾದ್ರೆ ಲಯಾಬಿಲಿಟಿ ಇಟ್ ಮೇ ಬಿಕಮ್ ಅನ್ ಆಕ್ಚುಯಲ್ ಲಯಾಬಿಲಿಟಿ ಆನ್ ದ ಹ್ಯಾಪನಿಂಗ್ ಆರ್ ನಾನ್ ಹ್ಯಾಪನಿಂಗ್ ಆಫ್ ಎ ಸರ್ಟನ್ ಇವೆಂಟ್ ಇನ್ ದ ಫ್ಯೂಚರ್ ಫ್ಯೂಚರ್ ಅಲ್ಲಿ ಏನಾದ್ರೂ ಒಂದು ಘಟನೆ ನಡೆದ್ರೆ ಇದು ಲಯಾಬಿಲಿಟಿ ಆಗ್ತದೆ ಇಲ್ಲದ್ರೆ ಆಗುದಿಲ್ಲ ಲಯಾಬಿಲಿಟಿ ವಿಚ್ ಮೇ ಆರ್ ಮೆ ನಾಟ್ ಅರೈಸ್ ಇನ್ ದ ಫ್ಯೂಚರ್ ಫಾರ್ ಪೇಮೆಂಟ್ ಇನ್ನು ಫ್ಯೂಚರ್ ಅಲ್ಲಿ ಅದೊಂದು ಲಯಾಬಿಲಿಟಿ ಆಗಿ ಅರೈಸ್ ಆಗ್ಲೂಬಹುದು ಆಗದೇ ಇರಬಹುದು ಖಂಡಿತ ಅಲ್ಲ ಸಮಟೈಮ್ಸ್ ಇಟ್ ಮೇ ನಾಟ್ ಬಿಕಮ್ ಎ ಲಯಾಬಿಲಿಟಿ ಫಾರ್ ಎಕ್ಸಾಂಪಲ್ ಈಗ ಕೋರ್ಟ್ ಅಲ್ಲಿ ಈಗ ಇನ್ಶೂರೆನ್ಸ್ ಕಂಪನಿ ಅವರು ಅವರ ಕೋರ್ಟ್ ಅಲ್ಲಿ ಹಲವಾರು ಕೇಸ್ಗಳು ನಡೀತಾ ಇರ್ತದೆ ಇನ್ಶೂರೆನ್ಸ್ ಆಕ್ಸಿಡೆಂಟ್ ಇದ್ದು ಬೇರೆ ಬೇರೆ ಇದೆಲ್ಲ ಸೊ ಅದು ಏನಾಗ್ತಾ ಇರ್ತದೆ ಕೋರ್ಟ್ ಅಲ್ಲಿ ನಿರ್ಣಯ ಆಗ್ತದೆ ಕೋರ್ಟ್ ಅಲ್ಲಿ ಕ್ಲೈಮ್ ಇಷ್ಟು ಕೊಡಬೇಕಂತ ನಿರ್ಣಯ ಆದ್ರೆ ಇವರು ಪೇಮೆಂಟ್ ಮಾಡುವ ಲಯಾಬಿಲಿಟಿ ಆ ಬ್ಯಾಂಕ್ ಆ ಇನ್ಶೂರೆನ್ಸ್ ಕಂಪನಿ ಇವರಿಗೆ ಬರ್ತದೆ ಕೆಲವೊಂದು ಸಂದರ್ಭದಲ್ಲಿ ಈ ಒಂದು ಕಂಪನಿಯವರು ಮೇಲೆ ಕಸ್ಟಮರ್ಸ್ ಏನು ಮಾಡಿರ್ಬೋದು ಕೇಸ್ ಹಾಕಿರ್ಬೋದು ಅಲ್ವಾ ಕೇಸ್ ಹಾಕಿರ್ಬೋದು ಆ ಕೇಸ್ ಹಾಕಿದ್ರೆ ಆ ಕೇಸ್ ಫಿನಿಶ್ ಆಗುವಾಗ ಕೋರ್ಟ್ ನಿಮ್ಮಲ್ಲಿ ಅವನಿಗೆ ಆ ಕಸ್ಟಮರಿಗೆ ಕಾಂಪನ್ಸೇಷನ್ ಪೇಮೆಂಟ್ ಮಾಡುವಂತ ತೀರ್ಮಾನ ಬಂದ್ರೆ ಏನಾಗ್ತದೆ ನಿಮಗೆ ಒಂದು ಲಯಾಬಿಲಿಟಿ ಕ್ರಿಯೇಟ್ ಆಗ್ತದೆ ಕಾಂಪನ್ಸೇಷನ್ ಪೇಮೆಂಟ್ ಮಾಡುವಂತ ಅದು ಕಂಟಿನ್ಯೂಂಟ್ ಲಯಾಬಿಲಿಟಿ ಎಲ್ಲಿವರೆಗೆ ತೀರ್ಪು ಬರುವವರೆಗೆ ತೀರ್ಪು ಬಂದ ನಂತರ ಅದು ಲಯಾಬಿಲಿಟಿ ಆಗ್ತದೆ ತೀರ್ಪು ಬಂದ ನಂತರ ಕಾಂಪನ್ಸೇಷನ್ ಕೊಡುವುದು ಬೇಡ ಅಂತ ಇದ್ರೆ ಲಯಾಬಿಲಿಟಿ ಆಗದೆಯೂ ಇರಬಹುದು ಅದಕ್ಕೆ ಹೇಳುದು ಇಟ್ ಮೇ ಆರ್ ಮೆ ನಾಟ್ ಅರೈಸ್ ಇನ್ ಫ್ಯೂಚರ್ ಫಾರ್ ಪೇಮೆಂಟ್ ಸೊ ಸಮ್ ಆಫ್ ದ ಎಕ್ಸಾಂಪಲ್ಸ್ ಇಯರ್ ಲಯಾಬಿಲಿಟಿ ಇನ್ ರೆಸ್ಪೆಕ್ಟ್ ಆಫ್ ದ ಬಿಲ್ಸ್ ಡಿಸ್ಕೌಂಟೆಡ್ ಅಂದ್ರೆ ನಾಟ್ ಮೆಚೂರ್ಡ್ ನೀವು ಬಿಲ್ ಆಫ್ ರಿಸ್ ಬಿಲ್ ಆಫ್ ಎಕ್ಸ್ಚೇಂಜ್ ಕೇಳಿದೀರಿ ಬಿಲ್ ಆಫ್ ಎಕ್ಸ್ಚೇಂಜ್ ಈಗ ಒಂದ್ ತಿಂಗಳು ಇದ್ರೆ ಒಂದ್ ತಿಂಗಳವರೆಗೆ ಕಾಯ್ಲಿಕ್ಕೆ ಆಗುದಿಲ್ಲ ನೀವ್ ಏನ್ ಮಾಡ್ತೀರಿ ಇಮಿಡಿಯೇಟ್ಲಿ ಕೊಂಡು ಹೋಗಿ ಬ್ಯಾಂಕ್ ಅಲ್ಲಿ ಕೊಂಡು ಹೋಗಿ ಹಾಕಿ ಹಣ ತಗೊಂಡು ಬರ್ತೀವಿ ಡಿಸ್ಕೌಂಟ್ ಗೆ ಆದ್ರೂ ನಿಮಗೆ ಒಂದು ಲಯಾಬಿಲಿಟಿ ಇದೆ ಏನಂದ್ರೆ ಎಲ್ಲಾದ್ರೂ ಬ್ಯಾಂಕ್ ನವರಿಗೆ ಆ ವ್ಯಕ್ತಿ ಬಿಲ್ಸ್ ಪೇಯಬಲ್ ಯಾರು ಪೇಮೆಂಟ್ ಮಾಡ್ಬೇಕು ಅವನು ಪೇಮೆಂಟ್ ಮಾಡ್ಲಿಲ್ಲ ಅಂದ್ರೆ ಬ್ಯಾಂಕ್ ನವರು ನಿಮ್ಮನ್ನೇ ಹಿಡಿತಾರೆ ನಿಮ್ಮ ಕುತ್ತಿಗೆ ಹಿಡಿತಾರೆ ನಿಮ್ಮಲ್ಲೇ ಬಂದು ಕೇಳ್ತಾರೆ ಹಾಗಾಗಿ ಅದೊಂದು ಸಾಧ್ಯತೆ ಇದೆ ಲಯಾಬಿಲಿಟಿ ಆಗುವ ಕಾಲ್ ಆನ್ ಪಾರ್ಟ್ಲಿ ಪೇಡ್ ಶೇರ್ಸ್ ಹೆಲ್ಡ್ ಆಸ್ ಇನ್ವೆಸ್ಟ್ಮೆಂಟ್ ನೀವು ಯಾವುದೋ ಕಂಪನಿಯ ಯು ಆರ್ ಯು ಯು ಹ್ಯಾವ್ ಇನ್ವೆಸ್ಟೆಡ್ ಇನ್ ಸಮ್ ಕಂಪನಿ ಅಂಡ್ ಟೆನ್ ರುಪೀಸ್ ಪರ್ ಶೇರ್ ಎಕ್ಸಾಂಪಲ್ ಅಂಡ್ ಏಟ್ ರುಪೀಸ್ ಪೇ ಟೂ ರುಪೀಸ್ ಯು ಹ್ಯಾವ್ ಟು ಪೇ ಇನ್ ಫ್ಯೂಚರ್ ಅವ್ರು ಕಾಲ್ ಮಾಡಿದ್ರೆ ಟೂ ರುಪೀಸ್ ಕೊಡಬೇಕಾಗುತ್ತೆ ಅದು ಕಂಟಿಂಜೆಂಟ್ ಕಾಲ್ ಈಸ್ ಕಂಟಿಂಜೆಂಟ್ ಕಂಟಿಂಜೆಂಟ್ ಕಾಲ್ ಆದ್ರೆ ನೀವು ಕೊಡ್ಬೇಕು ಅದು ಗ್ಯಾರಂಟಿ ಗಿವನ್ ಸಮಟೈಮ್ಸ್ ಯು ಹ್ಯಾವ್ ಗಿವನ್ ಆಸ್ ಅ ಶ್ಯೂರ